Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, today I'm going to show you guys what I have left over after this month. Um, I'm going shopping in two days. So we're going to have lasagna tomorrow, so keep that in mind. And then we'll have homemade pizza um, the next day. And then that's the day I'll be shopping. So, I did a four month shopping trip. Um, and this is what I have left after one month. So I'm hoping that I can we can stretch it another three months. I'm thinking that we we'll probably won't be able to do that. We'll probably stretch it another um, one and a half to two months. But I'm going to try my hardest. So I just want to show you guys what we have left. Okay, so in the pantry we still have a box of the Rice Krispie, like the um, bags of like little circle ones. A little bit more Pop-Tarts, some a whole box of pretzel goldfish, about a half of a box, maybe less, of the regular goldfish. And then we still have lots and lots of um, mac and cheese. So my cupboards go that deep and it's full. this is full of mac and cheese. Lots of tomato soup left. Um, lots of SpaghettiOs left here, more tomato soup, and um, this is also chicken noodle soup, so we still got lots of that. Lots of beans and bacon. We do not like this, so I'm trying to figure out different things to do with this. So if you have a recipe for this, let me know down in the comments, please. Um, some chicken and rice. I have one non-bean chili for a camp um, campfire nachos for the camper. One thing of refried beans, because I made my own refried beans, and they actually turned out really well. A couple cans of um, petite tomatoes, some chili beans, and this is chili um, ready tomatoes. And I used to use two cans of beans and two cans of tomatoes for each um, pot of chili. But now, since I made my own beans, I use one and one, so this will definitely last us another three months. Not that many um, raviolis left, but that's okay, because I have some homemade ravioli in the freezer. I found this at the Dollar Tree, guys. I didn't even know they may have this at the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to try to make some chicken gnocchi. But we still have a couple jars of Alfredo, only about three jars of tomato. Actually, I think I have more down there, so we're good there. Two things of mushrooms. I might need to get more mushrooms. This is the only green beans we have left. Then we have carrots, some microwavable soups. This is my cream of mushroom and my cream of chicken. I think I might run into that. Dentine more, we got plenty of. Um, back there, we still have plenty of jello and pudding for desserts and after school snacks. So we have plenty of blocks of cheese. I only use one block a month for mac and cheese. Um, actually, campfire mac and cheese, so we're good there. I think we have two things of elbow noodles, so I'm probably going to have to get some, maybe not this month, but next month. We still got plenty of shells and cheese. I found these cute little containers at Dollar Tree, but we got rice in this one, and then some noodles in that one. Uh, I think just like regular noodles. We still have two things of lasagna, lots of angel hair, um, rainbow for pasta salad for the lake as well. And then down here is where I kept all of my like stuff that wouldn't fit up there anymore. So we still got tomato juice. And then I don't see if you know if you can see back, but there's like two or three jars of uh, spaghetti sauce and two or three jars of Alfredo sauce. One thing of cup of noodles, diced tomatoes with chilies. This is an entire palette of chicken noodle soup that we got from Campbell's. Um, I live near a Campbell's and um, they do like a veterans thing so my husband goes up there during the veteran month and we stock up on our canned goods so that's how we get that. So we still have a lots of ramen, V8. We have two of these because one's behind One thing of peanut butter left, but I know we have two in the cupboard in the kitchen. Um, we just opened a brand new mayonnaise, so we'll be good on mayonnaise. Mayonnaise usually lasts us like three or four months, like when this jar as well. So we got plenty there. Only one thing of Kool-Aid left, so I might have to get more Kool-Aid soon. We're good on wet red vinegar. All my syrups that I usually use to make homemade granola and um, yogurt. One barbecue sauce, some steak sauce. We still have a huge, almost full one of these in the fridge, so we're still good there. Only one apple juice left, three chicken stocks, but I have chicken bouillon, so I think we'll be okay. Two um, graham crackers, couldn't think of the word. Uh, we might run to that because it is certainly again camping season. 
Uh, and then all my baked stuff that I don't use on a regular basis, so I know we'll be okay with that. We might run out of sugar because I do make Kool-Aid and tea, but that's fine there. Ketchups, which I'm going to have to take one into the kitchen because we went through one this month. So, <laughs> my son goes crazy for ketchups. We still got, um, I think, three pizza sauces and one grape jelly, so we're so good there. And this is like the empty Tupperware. Um, I put the dry beans in there, but I actually cooked them all and froze them in the mason jar, so I have to get more. Um, we still have lemon juice, so this is a lime juice for homemade salsa. I'm probably going to have to take that into the fridge this month. So got plenty. This is all of our fruit, canned fruit, and that. So we're good there. And then up here, I'm going to have to take the taco seasoning, I think, this month, and maybe the garlic salt, but I don't know yet, but I know definitely I'll have to take the, car the taco seasoning because we go through that a lot. Um, we have one open box of that, and these are all unopened cereals, and one thing of unopened vegetable oil. These are, I know I'm out of chicken completely. Um, I think I have one whole chicken left in there, but other than that, no more chicken. Um, and I think I have two or three pounds of ground beef left. Other than that, there's like fish and bacon, so that's pretty much it. So we're going to see a lot of meat in this next haul, um, just so I can stock up a little bit of that. Uh, there's still plenty of beans in there, um, some yogurt. Uh, we've actually been eating drinking gear smoothies without yogurt. Um, it's just sometimes we like it, sometimes we don't. We like go through phases, so it freezes pretty well, so it's good to the freezer for a while. Um, there's still, I think, one or two pizzas, so not that many pizzas, but I'm going to try to make homemade pizzas and freeze them. I'll let you guys know how that goes. But other than that, I think we're pretty good. Um, like I said, I don't think it's going to last us three more months, but I definitely think it will last us next month and maybe half of the next month. So I'll let you know and I'll keep you updated and look out for a Sam's Club and Walmart haul coming up because I only do Kroger every um, three to four months to do our canned goods and stock up. So... If you like this kind of video and you like what you see and you want to stick around for more hauls and see how our progress going of trying to do shelf cooking or pantry purge cooking, um, please stick around and subscribe. So see you later. Thanks, guys.